Hey guys, Tom Cooster, your local Greater Toronto Area Realtor here. And today I'm at Motorama at the International Centre, right across from Toronto's Pearson Airport. And we're gonna take a look at some of the crazy cars that are in this room and in the rooms behind me because Motorama is one of my favorite car shows of the year that comes to Toronto because here, everything is basically fully built. It's not cars like mine where you just slap on a spoiler and some rims and call it a build. Everything here is actually fully built. So stay tuned to the end of this video because we're gonna see a lot of cars. So come and let's take a tour of Motorama right here in Toronto. All right, we're gonna start the walkthrough part of this video and it's 6.36 right now. Motorama closes at eight. So I'm gonna do the best to get as much content in as I can in the short time of, short amount of time that I have. Right now we're in like the main entry room, which this is where all the, the best cars are. So we're gonna spend a little more time in here versus the rest of the place. You have this Camaro with the blower, full on drag build. We'll take a look, but this thing is awesome. Look at the size of this thing too. Look at those tires, huge. Got the parachute, so this thing's quick. It's gotta be pretty fast. Got a nice white, looks like a Chevy truck here. Yep, it is a Chevy. Gotta love the red engine bay with the red interior. Definitely looks great. And we got a AJS rod here. 1930 Ford Model A hot rod. Clean, gorgeous car. And again, we're gonna spend a lot of time in this room because I feel like they put all the best cars right at the entryway. Obviously at Motorama, you have lots of different vendors here showcasing their products and services and everything else you could potentially need. So we have another clean show car here. Got the side opening hood. And this is going to be a 1950 Buick Special obviously totally custom built look at that front end look at all the chrome look at the attention to detail that deep candy red paint just gorgeous we got toronto exotics here with the lambo this thing's at all the car events and again this buick got the new brunswick plate bombshell just a gorgeous gorgeous car let's take a look at the snow white chevy truck 1957 Chevy 3100 a very very good looking car truck so again that white on red looks great the white is probably one of the most like pearlescent pearl kind of whites I've seen in a while and it really is not your average shade of white paint we have the 68 Mustang here Shelby Racing Co and one thing I love about Motorama, again, is that everything's pretty much fully built here. So they have even like mirrors to display the underbody. You can really see how clean and how well taken care of these cars are. So we're going to keep walking through another hot rod type looking car here. Very classy, very classic and just absolutely gorgeous. Look at the Boss 408 Mustang here. Ford, full mirror underneath so you can see the underbody. Not sure how much you guys will see on video, but that's what Motorama is like. And again, one of my favorite things about Motorama is that all the cars are fully built. And again, it's not guys like me that just basically throw on spoilers and rims and call it a build. Everything is actually fully built so this is an homage a carol so i'm going to assume it's some sort of shelby homage to carol shelby and here we got the 1951 mercury coupe very hot rod looking very gorgeous car beautiful bright red paint no swirls no scratches just absolutely clean what a gorgeous car Oh, and we've got my friend over here with the car giving out posters. Want to tell YouTube a little bit about your build? Uh, it's a 
It was built 22 years ago by a guy named Ron Box, mm -hmm. uh, Denfield, Ontario. And it was here in 2003, and now we're back 21 years later. Amazing. Yeah. And has the car been with you the whole 20 years? Uh, no, I bought it in 217. Okay, congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very you. gorgeous car. Thank you. And I will definitely take one of those posters if you don't mind. I got a thousand of them to give away. Oh, the best. So you heard it here. He's got a thousand posters to give away right here at Motorama all weekend long in Toronto, Ontario. So again, just grabbing a poster of this beautiful Ontario built car. Definitely makes you proud to be from Ontario. And while we're waiting, we'll just show you again at Motorama. There's always lots of vendors here. So you have like the neon signs for your garage. Actually very tempting. There's a couple I can see right now that I would personally probably buy. And Haggerty's here, the best insurance. Again, thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. What's your name? Tell everybody your name, uh, how they can find you if they want to find out more about your build. Uh, Steve Rounds. Lakeside Canada. Lakeside Canada. Do you yeah. have like an Instagram or a YouTube or anything like that? No, I don't. Okay. Yeah. I love it. That's the best way to be. Yeah. Just no no need for the internet yeah. stuff, yeah. right? What, what, do, what are you on? Uh, so I'm on TikTok, YouTube, everything like that. My name's Tom. Okay, Steve Browns. Tom Kustra. Okay. Uh, if you search like Tom Kustra, K-U-S-T-R-A, okay. EXP Realty, something like that. I'm a realtor, so that okay. should come up and you'll see this video it'll be on youtube probably okay. by the end of the weekend okay sounds steve, good steve pleasure yep. to meet you yep. you have yourself a lovely day thank you for the yep. poster so there we go steve round showing us his beauty beauty car it was here 20 years ago and it's back again so grab that poster and i'm going to keep it safe we got the again boss the black edition boss stroker 408 what a beast just gorgeous and then here we have a chevy it's going to be a 1958 lowrider custom again got the mirrors so you can see underbody engine bay super clean interiors clean as well just an all-around nice car and then you got more vendors here. You got the old Volkswagen Bug. She is beautiful too. And I apologize, guys. There's going to be some shakiness in the camera. I'm basically working on my own and one-handed. So this guy's from Montreal here. Got the Quebec plates. Got the classic Beetle here. Chrome rims. Chrome bumper. Looking good. Even love the spare tire matches the actual tires, so very nice. I like that they have the luxury vinyl plank flooring, which definitely makes the display look a little better. And they added some signage, some spare wheels here. Just adds to the display and gives it a little more character. Now we have this beastly Hellcat swapped car here, which is a 1969 Dodge. And again, you got the Hellcat motor. Quickly take a look underneath so you can see the underbody. Got the Hellcat motor there. Got the orange accents on the motor, the rims, and a little bit on the interior. Truly a beautiful custom built car right there. Got some more vendors. Got this carbon fiber Ampia GT, the um, Alfa Romeos, I believe. And yeah, got the green one here as well. And another Ampia Alpha. All carbon, looking good. Looking clean. Interior is nice, pretty simple, all black, but very nice car. Let's check a look at the engine bay. And then we'll keep walking through. Here we have a 1968 Mercury Cougar Fastback. Very nice. That green paint is beautiful. Engine bay, super clean, very shiny, all chromed out. Gorgeous Mercury right here. I love the display with the wheel is basically half. Sorry, excuse me, boys. So yeah, we got the Mercury, the half wheel, chromies. Just an all around gorgeous car. She's quite beautiful. And then here we'll just swing around and take a look at this 
Mindel Kupitzes. It's a 1934 Ford. Kevin Mindel's car. Quite a gorgeous car. Oh yeah, look at that. The way the door opens up. And the rims. Everything on that looks nice. Swing around the back. Take a look. And again, guys, we're just going to continue on here at Motorama. I'm going to show you as many cars as I can in the short time I do have to film this video. If you enjoy content like this, also be sure to subscribe or follow me on TikTok, Instagram, all that stuff. Because I do lots of like behind the stuff scenes in the stories as well. So that Alpha again. And then here we have the 1928 Ford. Gorgeous. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that nice, nice truck here. And then this thing right here, I don't even know what it is. I read it earlier, but I always forget. It's a very unique car. Something you don't see every day. It is a 87 Merker RS4 Ti. So very like a rally car vibe to it. It's pretty gorgeous. Let's swing around and take a look at the side of it. Love the orange accents and truly a very, very nice car. This Merker RS 4Ti. A hoser. Love the license plate on it too. And then we're going to continue on and see what we have here. Another very mean looking car. This thing just looks gorgeous. It's a 1950 Mercury Monterey two-door coupe with a bunch of upgrades and custom things going on on it. My diecast is the license plate with the lovely diamond interior, almost like an orangey brown, really matches and contrasts the purple very, very well. And again, more vendors. All the vendors here. To me, Motorama is a bit of like a car show slash flea market vibe. It's very awesome. I like Motorama. That is the star of the show right there. That's one of the best cars here, guys. Look at that. Slay K, baby. Slay K. Yeah. Thanks, boys. <laughs> All right. So that's cool. Always fun to see things like that. With a 1932 Ford Roadster. Clean. I think that's the best way to describe most of the builds here. Very clean. A lot of money, a lot of passion, a lot of effort goes into these cars. So it is very beautiful to see as somebody who loves cars. Got a 1966 Chevy 2 Super Sport. So clean again the engine bay just very gorgeous black black on black with the chrome real wheels chrome black and muscle cars they just go so well together you can win this 1972 plymouth roadrunner more vendors but let's continue on and see what else we can look at in this main display area we will be picking up the pace a bit more as we get through the rest of the show but in here, we're gonna take as much time as we can because this is where I feel all the best cars are. 1949 Ford F1. FI or F1, I'm not too sure. It's a truck though. So, love the red guts. Red interior, again, black with the chrome. Just gorgeous look and looks really good. And we got this display. I always like when people add to their display with their own little personal touch, whether it's a character, a sign, some sort of display, a photo album like this. Very awesome. So you can see where the car was to where it went and what it looks like now. Quite beautiful. There's a full on truck section near the back, but one of the best trucks is right here. This thing is just absolutely massive. Those wheels have to be at least, I'd say, 35 inches, maybe more. I don't really know. I can probably read the tire and find out, but ain't nobody got time for that. So, 
This truck, absolutely huge. Again, those wheels, just the size of it, the presence. I don't know how you even climb into that, like if those rails come down and it makes it easier, but I'm about six foot tall and I'll show you guys the hood. So again, I'm six foot tall and that's the hood of this truck. It is massive. And continuing on, we got the 69 Charger here. Gorgeous, blacked out, murdered out, clean engine bay, clean interior, just gorgeous. And we got this display with this cool looking Tesla. I'm not a big Tesla guy, but that does look nice. And then again, back to the Charger though. This Charger, so gorgeous. Continue on, got the Street Rotter. It is a, I don't know, but we'll find that out in a second, 1932 Ford. So again, when it comes to the Boomer cars, I'm not the most familiar with them. I know some of them obviously like the Mustangs, the Challengers, all that, but when we're going back to the 30s, this is way before my time. So lovely display with the mannequin here and yeah, we'll just kind of keep walking through. Got another truck. And a Mustang. Quite a nice Mustang, actually. It's a GT350 Shelby. Very, very clean. Got the classic muscle car wheels. And yeah, overall, just a very, very nice build. And then one final car in here as well. And while you're here at the Motorama Car Show, you can definitely check out some of the vendors. We got eBay Motors here, and we're gonna do a spin and see what we can win. All right, I'm back. Let's do a spin for YouTube. What are we winning? Are we gonna get the big one, the t-shirt? Oh, oh, so close. One off from that big prize, the grand prize of a t-shirt. So we got an air freshener. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nikki. Oh, you're welcome. oh wow. Look at that. <laughs> wow. How did that happen? Did we just win a t-shirt live on YouTube? I think the video That's crazy. Just Whoa. It was still spinning. Amazing. Thank you. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love it. Look at that. Built, not bought. Now that's how it's done. That's right. You got to build your cars. You don't just buy them. Thank you, brother. You Appreciate it, guys. You guys have a lovely day and enjoy your weekend right here at Motorama. Any of you want to give a quick like talk about eBay Motors? Uh, yeah, so eBay Motors, um, what you want to do is get on there, find the parts of the vehicle. They uh, have a little section over there. It's called Fix Your Vehicle. It's a little green check mark. Set your vehicle, set your garage, and uh, yeah, it tells you, it brings up any results. It will fit your vehicle specifically. Um, most vendors, up to 80% of the vendors, are um, verified, and they've got a money back guarantee. So, you know, you can shop with, uh, with some confidence. Amazing, Comfort, yeah. amazing. So eBay is no longer just the place where you got to find your part number and guess that it's going to fit your car. Look for the green check, add your vehicle in, and make sure it fits. Thank you so much, brother. You have a lovely weekend here. Thanks, you too. Take care. Cheers. All right, guys, so we're going to continue on into the race car zone, but I'm going to take a quick pause of the video here and restart it in a second. Okay, back into the video. So now we're getting into the race car section. There's a lot going on here, and I'm not going to spend as much time going over everything. Again, we're a little limited on time today, so we're trying to get in and out of here as quick as possible but you got all these like nascar looking things painted on headlights full-on race car roll cage this uh i don't know what you call this but you always see these on race cars and lots going on here even more vendors so again some race cars there's one really cool bmw over there that we're going to check out in a second but before we go that way We'll walk through here and we'll see that there's more vendors. We've got heaters. We got toy cars. All sorts of stuff. 
fuel factory shout out to the fuel factory or back plus relaxation soothing the guy obviously gave us a wave so say hello to them and then we got all the race cars in here so cool and I do prefer as silly as it looks when they paint on the headlights that you know they at least have headlights because just this open hole looks kind of ridiculous it's got the Integra front bumper on it very interesting and then another one we got Billy D's these nuts and these fudge so they're always here pretty much every year but this Honda Civic race car my Stouffville Honda Stouffville Stouffville there you go it's Stouffville but I always like to make fun of that one got Napa Auto Parts then we got the NASCAR booth here and then this another race car very cool but I like this much more I don't know race cars are nice and all but nothing beats a good old classic Porsche nice white on brown Targa gorgeous what a nice car so here we got the NASCAR cars got the Canada series and they're promoting some stuff so again that's NASCAR and then another booth this booth might be one of my favorites in this room this thing's crazy looking I have no idea what it is but it's cool got this as well this Hyundai looks like a demolition derby car but the star of the show in here for me is going to be this BMW full-on like race car build got the roll cage inside totally gutted I'm a big fan of BMWs and that one that one looks incredible but the Mazda some more cars some more race cars but let's take a look at that BMW again it is a M235 IR so tiny but a lot of power I'm sure and we'll keep walking through there's food vendors and more race cars so again in this room we're gonna walk through relatively quickly because again I'm very limited on time and I want to show you guys as much of Motorama as I can the trailer park boys car is here as well the shipmobile my buddy Mike Raspberry's build and we'll go see him in a bit there's lots to see more race cars and more vendors at the Peterborough Speedway here shout out to Peterborough Oshawa North more race cars some like drag cars this thing is long man so big like it's got to be at least 20 feet long maybe more look at that motor gorgeous uh, Cayuga Toronto Motorsports Park here shout out to Cayuga always a fun time there and we got epic rally wear again a lot of vendors in here vendors all over the place again to me this is basically like a flea market slash car show but a good time nonetheless family friendly you can bring the kids here bring your wife and just enjoy a day at Motorama Toronto so we got all the all the race cars 1968 Chevelle street legal stock car got a Pontiac I guess I don't know what it, those are called but it's like it looks like a cobalt almost I believe in those days Chevy did make a lot of the same cars under different badgings got the Mustang police car you're not getting away from these guys not unless you turn a corner got some more race builds lots going on in here this Toyota with the 2JZ is awesome look at this thing look at that turbo huge Toyota Corolla with the 2JZ gorgeous and then there's the inside fully gutted race ready with the Fox body right here 
bunch of race motorcycles as well but the fox body with the parachute big old drag tires on her 8888 the hood on this is very mean as well lovely hood got a looks like a bel air here nice minty teal color big blower up top pipes right on the side yeah this thing's ready for action got a golf cart that you can win tickets are ten dollars a lot of raffles a lot of little games and stuff like that here as well we have 1950 something i have no idea but oh it's a 1950 ford perfect never heard of that never seen it i'm not too familiar with the older cars not really my cup of tea or my knowledge base just due to the age i'm at right so a lot of race cars in here a lot of awesome builds this thing this thing's so mean blacked out look at that pipe coming out the side look at those wheels and then look at the motor bay you got a whole crowd around this car so have you, have you run it you run it obviously just, just on the hub oh, okay so obviously drawing all the crowds heavy boomer breathing for that car and heavy tom breathing for it as well because it's a pretty pretty beastly pretty beastly car got 420 mystery bags get yourself a kuma shirt if that's what you want to do got a 1972 dodge challenger rt lovely lime yellow kind of paint on it 73 cuda also very nice so beauties got a couple of corvettes here looks like a c7 and another c7 very nice do love me some corvettes with some shirts hats rings all sorts of stuff we have a acura nsx here from auto planet the acura nsx is a gorgeous car but when you're comparing it to all the other cars in this room it just looks like regular traffic some more corvettes they do love their corvettes here at motorama and then we have this hot rod looking thing but behind it is probably one of my favorite cars here and it's not this lambo it is this porsche the rahu well built rwb wide body with the big butt on her looking good just a mean mean looking car and then again this hot rod here beside it chevy looks like street rod very nice so there's the Rahul Welt RWB Porsche just a gorgeous gorgeous car then we got Fenlab here that's who I have with my ceramic coating got a couple of MG's so MG Toronto car club for MG's is here more vendors 3d products Canada and it might get a little chaotic here just because of the way this show is set up. We're gonna continue walking through and taking a look. We've got this Pontiac, which looks like it has an LS in it. We've got the Grand National built up, gorgeous. Love me a good Grand National. We have some more cars here, Camaro, and then this Corvette right here with the paint. This paint is very very sparkly shiny and probably a lot of work went into that don't even want to ask how much that cost to paint because that looks like a very very expensive paint job but it is interesting and it definitely sticks out almost has like a black and kind of green hue to it so here we're gonna go around got some more vendors it looks like some people might have shut down shop for the day today but this Grim Reaper guy here, obviously we got 2012 Special Edition RS3 Roush Edition Mustang. Please do not touch. I don't blame them for asking that. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous Roush Mustang. Got a Fox body here with the Grim Reaper. Looks like a race build, so I'm assuming this thing is probably pretty damn fast. 
And yeah, the oldies car club. These guys always have a great display here at the auto show. Got new school auto shop, so showing off some of their work. Got this rusty car with no wheels, no headlights, looking like it's just rusting away. And then again, the oldies car club. These guys come with some gorgeous, gorgeous cars every year. And there we go. Got OVO SA here, QVO SA. So I'm guessing a bit of an old school car club, but also a bit of like that lowrider vibe. Love the setup they have too. You got the drive-in, actually have the theater. So that's the theme of this booth, which I do love. Got a couple of GTOs here, as well as this RT. I'm gonna say this is a Dodge, but what kind? It's a Coronet. So got that, and got the GTOs very nice the paint on this one very beautiful almost like a matte yellow kind of look and then we'll swing around and take a look at what else the oldies car clubs has because these guys do have quite the booth with the drive-in again drive-in vibe love that really just adds to the atmosphere and gives it a little bit of that personal touch so i do like when they do that kind of stuff here at the motorama show and spruce up their displays with some more interesting touches like this drive in here so we got a pontiac firebird over here bright yellow or trans am sorry firebird trans am same thing i think but the hot wheels dodge challenger with the 392 hemi and this thing, the Gremlin, got a old Chevy, got the Lambo, the RX-7 there, Shelby, GT350, bunch of Fox bodies. GT 427 Super Snake. Very gorgeous engine bay on that. Looks super clean. And then again, you got all the Fox bodies you could ever want to see here. Love me a Fox body. <laughs> Mistress. I wonder if that's the wife's car. Got right customs here from Mosley, Ontario, with this very unique truck. Looks gorgeous. Got a bit of that like rust rusto mod vibe to it. Got the pony here, nice Mustang. Ford 1967. Gorgeous. Then the green on the gold wheels. Ooh, that looks nice with the lime green accents. What do you guys think? I think that looks very, very nice. Look at that. She is clean. So the green and the gold work very well. We have that car over there, which is also very well done. We're gonna walk over to that. Fugitive custom cars. Let's see what they got going on in here. And then we'll keep walking. There's a lot to get through. We've got this 1980 Camaro, the beautiful blue flame paint, chromed out engine bay, and just totally built, totally restored. Looks like a brand new car. Like it just came off the showroom floor. Very nice. So we'll keep walking around and see what we can see. Again, only so much time and this room is pretty big, so we'll show you everything we can. We'll head down this aisle and then we'll head into the truck section. There is like certain sections in this place, so obviously we went through the main display area, the race cars. Now we're kind of in the like custom area where all the car clubs and different vendors can kind of hang out. There's that 
Rahul Welt RWB Porsche again. Beautiful. And got Blue Sunoco with the old school hot rod here. Looking very gorgeous. Got our race car here. Another drag, drag beast with Golf Pro Fuels. Got some hoists here. And we'll walk over to the truck section. Lincoln Electrics here. Got all sorts of people here. More vendors. Literally all the vendors. So again, like I said, this thing is a bit of a flea market slash car show, but it adds to the vibe. And if you want trinkets or hats or shirts, there's definitely some unique stuff you'll see here. And heavy boomer breathing with all the skulls on that shirt there. Okay guys, so the video kind of cut out here and I'm not sure what happened, but it basically said preparing a file on my GoPro. So hopefully we have a nice smooth transition from there to here. But if not, this explanation is basically of what happened. So we're walking through, you got the Ram here, the Lilo and Stitch Ram. And then one of my favorite trucks here is this TRX that is very, very like rally inspired with the white wheels, yellow paint, livery on it. 69 heh, nice but yeah love that thing a good old rally truck uh, this old school beast here look at that it is a jaguar xj6 from 1981 wow now that is actually quite stunning wide body too got the fenders arching out nicely at this truck just chilling it's the GMC and then we have the uh, Hummer the H1 the Schwarzenegger mobile this is just kind of what I imagine Arnold Schwarzenegger drives around LA all the time very manly very beastly you got the Polaris got the Lincoln electric truck I have a trailer here, which I guess this is for people that really are serious about going to car shows and all that. And another big ass Ram here, Team Maru. And again, guys, here's a Tom for scale. I'm about six feet tall, and that's the hood of the car, the truck. So continuing on, we'll see some more trucks. Another one, this one's even taller. This might be one of the tallest trucks here, this Ram 2500 heavy duty look underneath if you get hit by this thing you're definitely gonna die but yeah i'm six foot tall and that's how the hood lines up to my head and a nice old school chevy truck here tractor another old school truck with the hemi 645 in it got the beheading van the greyhound i don't know if you guys remember but back in the day there was a lot of beheadings in canada on greyhounds which was very interesting um to say the least Got the Kyle Mobile here with the Monster Energy stickers. Dodge Ram 2020. Another Dodge, it looks like. Ram 2017. Very nice, beastly truck. And another one. All the Dodge Rams. More neon signs, if you like neon signs or neon clocks. And then this thing. I'm not sure what it is, but it is beastly. Looks very, very cool. Another GMC truck and more vendors. And let's see what else we can find. Another 1941 Plymouth here. Kind of like a Rusto mod. Got this semi truck. This thing's gorgeous. Beautiful chrome wheels and just a very nice Peterbilt. Peterbilt is like the Rolls Royce of trucks, I would say. Especially with the Swan up top. So you got Peterbilt. It's a 2379, fully custom. A lot of work went into this, and just imagine hauling a load with this thing. It's pretty big. We have a monster truck here as well. And that's basically the truck section. So 
There's a lot over there to see. One thing I will take us to before we head to the rest of the Motorama areas at this race car here. Full on like drag build, you know, opens up from the top. You gotta kind of get in that way, I guess. You can't really get in. But one thing that's really cool is this electric Bronco. The old 1974 Bronco with the electric swap. Nice minty kind of teal color to it. Very nice beige brown interior and just a nice looking Bronco. Probably the best EV around. Much better than any Tesla, I would say. So here we got another, you know, hot rod type car. And we'll just keep walking. There's a lot going on in here. There's a lot more to see. More drag cars. This thing, I'm not too sure what it is, but it is beastly. It just looks mean. Look at that. Oh yeah, that looks mean. The old like hot rod type truck. Very cool. Very nice. And then this I want to say Charger? Challenger? Charger? It's a Charger. Black, big chromies, just murdered out. What a gorgeous looking car. Oh yeah, that's totally murdered out. Just beautiful Charger. Charger RT. A few more drag cars. We'll walk by these drag cars and show you them. Then we have the Ontario Camaro Car Club on the other side. We've got a lot going on in here. It's almost too much to see. It's very hard. Like you'd need a lot of hours in here to see and enjoy the full event. Which is why for this YouTube video, we're going to do a very quick walkthrough and show you guys as much as we can in the short amount of time that we do have to do it. If you enjoy behind the scenes looks at car shows like this, follow me on TikTok at TomCooster416 because I do go live for most car shows on TikTok, specifically TikTok. Got Jason Steve's Dirty Dandelion 1927 Chevy 5 Window Coupe. Window Coupe. Fox Body. Some more classics. This Chevy Coupe though. Wow. And the paint on her. Just truly gorgeous. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but that paint is very, very nice. So there's the Fox Bodies again. The Camaro Clubs here. And what's this? 64 Corvette Resto Mod. Beautiful. Looks very, very nice. Very well done. And the Volkswagen Bug here. 1967 Beetle. Looks nice as well. I'm a big fan of German cars, as you guys may or may not know if you've followed me for a bit on any social media. German cars are where my heart is at. So we'll continue forth, marching on, and we'll see what else we can find. Like this 1929 Model A pickup with the very cool setup of the booth, got the checkered flooring, all sorts of signs and little knickknacks. Add some, add some pizzazz to the booth. Now, shout out to Rollers Only in Toronto, Canada. These guys have an incredible display with some awesome flow riders here. So, let's take a look. This thing is just beautiful. And I love the way it's set up. It's already like on the switches. Got a few more trucks over here as well, by the way, but let's not take away from the low riders. So that's the low rider area. And look at that. It's probably sitting about a foot and a half off the ground at least that tire. And it's just holding it. They do reinforce the frames of these quite a lot. 
Got another one here. They are all basically hitting switches. And then we got the Road Master Road Masters Car Club. Got this little Chevy. Just all sorts of stuff in here. And then here, this is all me. Porsche. 987 DTM. There's a sign if you guys want to pause and read more about this. I'm probably more so just doing that for myself so I can read that all later. It's a 2006 Porsche. Absolutely insane. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Continue walking through. We'll head back down this way, do a loop back, we'll go through the back section of Motorama, and then we'll end the video off in the um, in the tuner section. So we got this car with the Lockheed Martin branding. This guy must be a big fan of wars. Shout out to Lockheed Martin for dropping bombs. Oh, and then this gentleman with the blue Volvo V70R, shout out to you because you were on my TikTok stream and you were talking about how I walked past it so many times and didn't even notice. In hindsight, it was so obviously there, but again, brother, Val, the V70R, shout out to you. Thank you for joining us on that TikTok live stream and clean looking Volvo looks good. Love me some old school Volvos as well. Volvo is a great car brand like the Swedish license plate on there and another lowrider and then here we have the DeLorean section we're going back back to the future baby so you got this crashed up one that was hit at seven, 35 miles an hour it said something like that on the sign and we got an actual like nice clean pretty pretty good looking DeLorean no back to the future build inside just clean pretty much stock and then here you have the back to the future style build basically the cyber truck before it was the cyber truck it's got that like aluminum body super cool so i do like the the back to the future builds but i think i'm more of a fan of the other one that is just a clean oem spec delorean so i got a couple of pontiacs here and then a little sneak peek at the tuner section which we will get back into shortly got the irock the woodbridge special everybody in woodbridge loved this car back in the early 2000s 80s 90s and they still love them you take an irock to woodbridge you're getting all the italian cougar um cougars you could want got the trans am here another muscle car and then this 47 willies the jeep Looking quite clean. Diamond stitch on the interior. That's a nice looking truck. And Chevy Camaro here. The ZL1. Compared to everything else in this room, looks a little on the basic side, but that's okay. It's still a nice car. You know, you see that on its own out in the road, it's gonna be a gorgeous car. So now we're walking into what I call the free candy section of the the motorama car show so if you want some free candy definitely head down to one of these vans and i'm sure one of them will have some free candy for you so i got hildy this is the one that i think no this is not the one it's on the other side so we'll check it out in a second but again all the vans here vans are pretty cool you don't see a lot of them at car shows but they can be pretty nice when they're all built up like this one here the Bubba Gunner, it says it's a Dodge. It's got some nice paint on it, very custom, very retro, unique interior, and pretty nice street van. Then we got some more, you know, old schools Chevy 150, 1957. This is awesome, man. This is nice. This is what the snap on guy buys when he sells mechanics, all the snap on stuff. Like when the mechanic buys snap on stuff. This is where your money goes as a mechanic into something like this. Imagine buying Snap-on from these guys. More 
old schools. So, give you a sneak peek. Now, let's continue on through the free candy section. And obviously, Southern Ontario Bangers, another car club. Shout out to them because they got some cool roadsters here. Very fun and unique cars. Got the denim machine, the little minivan. Got a big van, the Krusty Demon, it says on the back. It's got a bed in it, so it might actually be a Krusty Demon. And then this, of all the vans here that I think you could get free candy from, this might be the one. It's got a bed in the back, so we're ready to go to deliver candy. And then you got the Blue Dragon here. Some more vendors, some more vans. We'll loop back around and see those vans after on the way out of this section. We got the Found My SS Swap car here. I think this one was one of my favorites in this room when I walked through earlier, this yellow car. Just gorgeous, that paint, the attention to detail, the interior, the way it's paint matched. This thing is just gorgeous. And then we got more old schools. This one is a 1950 Styline Deluxe. Never heard of it again when it comes to these older cars. This is not my generation, so I don't know. I wish I knew more about them, but that's why I come to these events, to learn more, to see, to expose myself to these type of cars and really get a grasp for things beyond just German cars or JDM cars to see a little bit of everything. See the heritage, the history, and all the cool cars that they have here. Like the Studibag, Studibacher, Studibaker, this truck, and the Studi is a bit of a coomer because he loves porn. Not sure I would want to display that on the back of my car, but to each their own. But a Storm Rider, this thing looks clean. I don't know what it is either, but this is nice. Oh yeah, look at the paint. This is a 1955 Four Tudor Sedans Fairlane. And very custom. There's a whole list of stuff there. You guys can see what has gone into it. If you want to learn more about this car, just pause the video. But that is basically it. And we got another lawn roller it says on the license plate got a dodge and then this thing this thing is mean looking the ford pickup from 1935 street slash rat rod but the bootlegger barrel in the back just imagine being like al capone in the 1930s and bootlegging with this thing and another dragster this one looks like an older style and then we got some more kind of lowrider vibe cars very unique and we're gonna head to the star of the show which is not this tow truck but i don't know if you guys can already see it on the video maybe you can it is the trailer park boys car we've got a bunch of old school fords here as we get towards the trailer park boys car as well so we got more fords some trucks and this is my buddy's car so I'm gonna go fuck with him a bit let's see it's the trailer park boys shitmobile yeah buddy let's go once. smokes let's go fucking you got smokes let's go got one, buddy. right now Jesus look at this thing ah, that is been dirty tossed around that's like the dirtiest cigarette that I've seen all day I would Almost pay somebody to fucking smoke that. Ah, I don't. Wouldn't, I wouldn't. I don't think you could pay me enough to smoke nah, it. To be I honest, even, nah, nah. I don't think you could even pay me enough to sit in this fucking car. How many times <laughs> has Lucy been banged in the back seat uh, by Ricky? Huh? I, I'd hate to even fucking ask that question, buddy. Yeah. Jesus. All right. So we're on the uh, YouTube side of things oh, now, really? Mike. Tubes. Ooh. And Is my hair even. Let's again, <laughs> just like the last time, you can swear all you like. There's oh, no yeah, censorship yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. So feel free to swear. I know Ricky, if you can't smoke and swear, he's fucked You're in court, much right? Fucked. Yeah. yeah. So you gotta That's swear. Same here. So tell people a bit about the story of this car. 
There's a unique history where it started as a replica. Yeah. And so, now. So here we go. Like, here's some of the process. Uh, so basically, I daily drove this car like this for, I don't know, like two or three years. And then eventually, I was built like buying cars. I was going to build a replica. I didn't know which one was I was going to use. I ended up putting my foot through the floor, did a floor pan patch, and then I was like, you know what, the rest of the car is pretty well fucked. So I just ended up giving it the shitmobile treatment, as you can see here. And uh, so this is just after I finished rollering on the black. I, uh, you know, I drove it around as a replica for a little bit, and then uh, the guys ended up reaching out to me after, well, basically after they found out that I was at Niagara Falls Comic Con, and they, uh, they wanted to use my car for their next upcoming film, and mm -hmm. so I drove this thing from London, Ontario, to Bedford, Nova Scotia, where they were filming, so they could use it in their next movie. Mm -hmm. Amazing, yeah, amazing. Buddy. So that's, that's quite the story. Now, yeah. you also did earlier on our TikTok Live tell us about the first time Ricky drove this car. Oh, Rob Wells. yeah, buddy. So they're doing a bunch of driving scenes, and uh, you know, Ricky's driving up, and he's kind of turning into the Legion, and the. The, the car's just not fucking, just quit on him, and he's just trying to start it in the middle of the road, totally unscripted, so I'd like to see if that makes it in the... Very, uh, very on brand for the shipmobile, though, for it to just die, even I if it's see, unscripted, that, right? That's, yep, yep, that's, uh, that's the way she goes. <laughs> that's amazing. Now, what kind of attention does this car draw when you bring it out to car shows like Motorama? Yeah, it's a little dead right now, because it's, uh, it's almost over for the day, but it is, you get every breed Every action. breed of... You person, get like right? the holy fuck, what the hell is this? To the oh my fuck, I can't believe this is this is here. Yeah, right. You get right, a lot of right. uh, a lot of different reactions. I think the the second one was definitely my first reaction to seeing this because yeah. obviously Trailer Park Boys, total Canadian heritage. Like it's our history at this point. Oh yeah, no, dude, national treasure. I mean, like <laughs> the Canadian General Lee of sorts. You know. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> That's a very good way to put it. Yeah. Buddy. So show us around your display here. Oh yeah. So like. The, the barbecue. <laughs> the barbecue. This is just, you know, some guest list, of, you know, or some guest book if somebody wants to write a little fuck off in there or frig off or, you know, I paid ten dollars a fucking month for cable. <laughs> frig off. So there we go. We got another frig off. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. So basically, I've been littering on my car the whole time because why not, right? True, <laughs> yep. True, Ricky. You got, the, you got the clearing stick to get rid of it after. Ew, ew. Oh, he's even got the clearing stick. Look at that. The clearing stick. I guess it's an official clearing stick now because it's used in the movie. Uh, so I've uh, yeah, I've got a letter of authenticity uh, from the boys themselves. You know, stating that it was used in the movie. Amazing. Uh, you know, obviously. Uh, Obviously, I've eaten the pepperoni, but some uh, pepperoni uh, packaging. I got yep. a, you know, Jacob uh, mustard glass. I got a Julian glass. That is greasy. I got Ricky's little half fucking. <laughs> nice. Half cooked amazing, cooked amazing. Cooked amazing. And then you got the Ricky cooler. I got, cooler. Uh, yeah, but just a bunch of random stuff. I got some rock vodka in the back there too. Oh, nice. And the, no, the old mason jar sweets. too. Oh, right on. Yeah, sweet. Got a, just a whole bunch of stuff. This is the trunk's just full of random bullshit. So there's nothing really to see there. That's just yeah, all it's just random, random shit. shit. Yeah. Um, and then uh, yeah, man. Got the, the street hockey net. Obviously, yep. Ricky loves the street hockey. Got satellite dish. Satellite dish. <laughs> you don't own space, Nasa. Nasa does. Nasa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I love that scene. Man. Oh yeah, that's the best. Yes, that's sir. That's the best. So I'll say one thing. Yes. I feel a little ripped off. Where's oh, no. the Where's the shower? Oh, okay. So I didn't. I didn't do it with this one. I uh, I did that only because I was daily driving it. And uh, you know what's kind of weird, actually, and I just noticed this is that the animated series. There's no sunroof in the animated series. No, there's no shower yeah, in this animated one yeah, either. Right? So, okay. You know, like yeah. just throwing that out there. You know yep, what I mean? But, absolutely. Uh, but no, I I don't know. I'm pretty hard pressed. I might do another replica with it, but. We'll see. Yeah, I might. Uh, I might do a Leahy fuckmobile instead. So I'll oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah, do it, man. Do yeah, it. Yeah, dude. Anyway, yeah. that's Mike Raspberry. Where can people find Cheers, you buddy. so they can follow the uh, yeah, yeah. the so, journeys of the shipmobile? Oh, so I've been a little lax on the uh, social medias, but TikTok, Mike Raspberry, Raz Shipmobile on Instagram. Instagram. Yep. Uh, Facebook's pretty much the same. There's your hashtag. Worst, Worst case, case Ontario. Ontario. All right, thank you, Mike. You have yourself a lovely day, my friend. You too, buddy. All right, so there we go. We had a behind the scenes look at the shipmobile with Mike Raspberry. Shout out to Mike, he's awesome. 
and let's go take a look at what else is in this room and then we'll head over to the tuner section we're gonna be getting kicked out of here very soon this is only running for like another 20 minutes so I apologize if the tail end of this video gets a little rushed but I want to show you guys as much as I can before we leave got tattoo artists doing live tattoos all sorts of stuff going on here and again Motorama this is one of my go-to events every year here in the greater Toronto area because at Motorama you really see that people put a lot of heart and a lot of soul into their cars the cars are gorgeous they're fully built they're not bought there's a lot of time a lot of effort a lot of money that goes into these cars and trucks and vans and everything else that's here so be sure to check out Motorama support the show one of the best in the GTA and let's continue on and see what else is back in the tuner booth so again I apologize if we're going a little too quick but we'll see what's going on over here got more of like the tuner section there's that 47 Willy again that we just saw oh before we get into the tuners got the Knight Rider replica car so from one movie car to another awesome and another movie car Kachow. Uh, the cars I think Lightning McQueen or whatever it's called I don't know I've never watched cars surprisingly enough got another Buick I think it's a Grand National maybe not oh it is a Grand National gorgeous got some Corvette here 2001 C5 very nice got the GM truck Honda CRV bagged out mixed nuts another car Got a nice Audi here, got a Honda Civic, got an IROC, and another IROC. Oh yeah, we already went there on the way out, so we'll take a look at some Hondas. Got another Civic, K-tuned, carbon fiber trunk, blue wheels. Not a bad looking car. Does look like the motor is built up somewhat. Quite a lot actually probably plug in a laptop into that thing and you're going to be smoking some cars but the stanced out s2000 i think it needs an alignment because those wheels are very off and obviously that's a joke got another stanced out s2000 with the old school honda civic and there's some serious bass coming from the other room so if i don't get good audio out of there i might have to voice this section over and i might do it anyway just because of copyrights but here we got another honda and here we got the prelude very nice prelude lovely candy blue paint on it you really see the sparkles in that got a mini another old civic with quite the insane build on it Again, you throw a laptop on something like this and you're gapping all the all the cars. Another tuner here, Tokyo racing development kind of style with delivery. Some more vendors. Looks like a Sylvia here. Pretty nice. Oh no, it's a Honda Prelude. Oh, I think I know this car. I've seen it before. It's a Prelude that's been turned into like to look like a Sylvia. So very interesting skyline. Never go wrong with the R32 skyline. <coughs> 1990s, sorry guys. Audi, Volkswagen. Got the Mini, and then shout out to my boy Tony with Tony's Classics and the Marlboro Benz. I love this thing. Never gets old to see it. The way it's all displayed out too with the Marlboro skeleton because smoking kills obviously got a skateboard in there and then again Tony's classics Mercedes very very nice red tints there's a look at that Audi and the Volkswagen again that Volkswagen is looking really really good he got lots going on here got another Volkswagen the Golf GTI 1992 looks good 
Got a Teggy, 1996. Pretty built up too. Nice looking motor on the Teggy. Got a Volkswagen Golf. Looking pretty clean. Interior's done up a little bit too. Looks nice. And then we got the Toyota. What is this, a Yaris? Yeah, it's a Yaris. Very interesting. Unique Yaris here. It's got the heart headlights. Quite cute. We have the Jaguar F-Type 2019. I almost thought this was a Tesla for a second. I don't know why. But no, it's a Jaguar. Gorgeous. Got the 5 liter Mustang here. Built up by Chop Shop. And those guys do some great work. I know my friend has an M2 built by them and it is nasty. So that's a gorgeous looking car there. But the Nissan Z. BMW, this BMW is crazy. BBS wheels. A nice clean engine bay. And just a very good looking Beamer right here. And another Nissan Z, looks like. Yep. Very unique racing bucket seats in there. Pretty cool. Got the spiky boys here. And then, yeah, nice engine bay. Another, what looks like a Volkswagen GTI 1986. And then this is going to be a 2013 Genesis Coupe. Another Beamer, looks like a 2 Series. Very nice, do like this Beamer right here. That's pretty clean. It's a, not even a 2 Series, it's a 135, so it's an old school, but nice. Old rims on a Beamer, always look good. And then here we'll take a look at this car, which is a CSX Type S Acura. Nice. There's that taggy Sylvia build. And then, I believe this is a Toyota Corolla, I want to say. Yep, it's a Toyota Corolla 2016. Cool. Got this TRD Toyota build here as well. With a 2JZ, it seems. 2JZ for the win. Here's the back end of that Civic. Another Toyota. And some more vendors. And walking through, we'll see what else is here. And that's it. So we're getting kicked out now. Thank you. Got this Cheech and Chong looking guy here. Cool. And that's basically it guys. So that's Motorama. That's a good idea of what the show is like. And it's pretty representative of what it's like year after year. A good variety. Lots of heart. Lots of soul. And it's just not as corporate as like let's say something like the Toronto Auto Show. Which... There's nothing wrong with being corporate, but this is just, I don't know, it just feels more real. And I think with that, we're gonna go to the sign-off process. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my tour of Motorama 2024 right here in Toronto, Ontario. Lots of great cars here. Be sure to check it out. If not this year, if you're watching this video down the road, check it out next year. This is one of my favorite events that happens throughout the year. And as you can see behind me, my favorite car is here again for the second year in a row, the Shitmobile from Trailer Park Boys, Tom Kustra, your local Greater Toronto Realtor and tour guide of events, car stuff, all the happenings around the GTA. If you got value out of this video or enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.